Welcome back to Triple Goddess Soapery. My name is Angela, and today we're going to be talking about my goals for 2024. Now, I realize it's almost the end of February, so I'm kind of, you know, late to the game here. But since everybody was posting about their goals in 2024 back in the beginning of January, maybe this will be fresh and new for some people. So I went through back in early, probably in late December, early January, because I was really thinking about what I wanted my goals to be for 2024. And I made a list. And I think I even posted about this on Facebook, although I can't find the post now. But I have a list in my phone of talking points. I don't, I don't usually script my videos, but I do have some talking points. And I just want to go through what some of my goals are. And I would love it if you have goals for 2024, whether you're a soap maker or um, thinking about being a soap maker or for like any aspect of your life, your life, I would love to hear about them down in the comments. So my first goal that I, that I wanted to achieve, I actually started working on, I want to say, I started thinking about it probably in the summertime and it wasn't until uh, probably the first week or two of November, I had a gentleman named Jeff and I can, if I remember, I will link his information down below. He's from a customized box company in New Jersey and he contacted me and was like, blah, 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 boxes. And I'm like, sure, sure. Just, you know, there's so many people selling boxes. And the more I thought about it, the more I was like, you know what? I would really love as one of my goals for 2024 to up my branding game. I would really like to kick my branding up a notch. I would like my branding to be, to scream a little more, you know, luxury brand and really, really look more expensive. You know what I mean? To, to just look like a higher end brand. So I started working with Jeff probably around um, Remembrance Day. And by the end of November, I had a box that I was happy with super happy with the price i think i paid 37 cents each usd which worked out to less than 50 cents a box canadian and the shipping was included i think we probably went back and forth 12 times i probably have 12 templates saved of my box until i was happy they were really really easy to work with and i got my boxes so now for 2024 i am transitioning all of my my soaps over to these beautiful boxes. So there we are with goal number one achieved. That was m my first goal that I thought of was, you know, I really want to up my branding game. And that's where I started. I also, at the same time, didn't just get boxes. I also decided that I wanted to change the packaging for my, my creams for the same reason. So I normally have been doing... Uh, lotions, a lightweight lotion in a pump bottle, and it's a white pump bottle, and I don't know, it just looks kind of cheap. So I switched to a four ounce low profile jar with a white lid, and I like it so much better. And I think it's beautiful. I also did reformulate over the Christmas break my lotion to be more of a hand and body cream, and I absolutely love it. And at the market last week, other people also loved it as well, so that's great. So that was one of my main goals for 2024 that has been achieved. I have upped my branding game and updated my packaging to something a little more sophisticated, a little more high-end looking without being a huge extra cost. So one of the other things I want to do is increase my wholesale presence. So I do have a couple of wholesale accounts. Um, they're pretty small. I probably only ha get an order a year from each of them. But it's a start, and I decided I wanted to increase my my wholesale presence. So what I did was I started Googling. I started looking up online all of the different garden centers in and around Nanaimo and Vancouver Island, and I sent out some emails with my Gritty Gardener soap as well as some information. I contacted a metaphysical store in town who did respond to me and said that they really liked what I had and they would get back to me after the busy season and it is now February and I haven't heard from them yet, but that doesn't mean I won't. 
I also reached out to every gift shop type place that I could find online. So far, I haven't had much luck, but you know what? It's just, it is what it is. You just got to keep putting your brand out there and contacting people until somebody bites. Now, I also have had a fair account for over a year and with absolutely like no, no interest at all whatsoever. So I have also back in December worked on updating that um, with new photography and new products and all that jazz. And I've had a lot of views on it, still haven't had anyone make a purchase. But it's all just, you know, it's a process, right? So it's a marathon, not a sprint. So that's something else I'm working on. I also am posting on my social media regularly um, with my advertisement and something I created on Canva. Just saying, you know, I'm, I'm actively seeking more wholesale accounts. Please contact me, yada, yada, yada. So that's something else I'm working on. So that's my second goal. Another one of my goals, this is actually one of my biggest, and it might have been probably the one of the first things I thought of when I started thinking about my goals, was the fact that I really needed to reduce my frivolous spending. I have spent the last year and a half just spending money like I'm printing it in the basement. Like, it's, it's just silly. You know, when I, when I want a new mold, I'm buying new molds. Oh, I want to make oh, I want butterflies, so I'm buying butterflies. Oh, I want roses, so I'm buying roses. And I'm just spending so much money for the last year and a half on all these soap supplies and molds and fragrances and ingredients and colors and whatever, right? So I'm like, okay, 2024, I'm going to curb the spending. I'm only going to buy what I really, really need. If I need to buy something for a wholesale order, that's fine. When I need to purchase more materials because I'm out of, you know, this or I'm out of that, you know, that's one thing. But just buying every mold that, that strikes my fancy, you know, that that's another. And, and I needed to curb that. So, so far, February, today is the 23rd. I'll be posting this video tomorrow on the 24th. So far, it's been going all right. I have still spent more money than I probably should have on things that I really don't need. But overall, I my... I'm definitely curbing my spending. And this goes into my next goal. My next goal was that for 2024, I want to break even. Everyone knows when you start a new business, they say for the first three to five years, don't expect to make a profit, expect to even have a loss. And that has been the case for my first six months in business and then my first year in business, I've had a loss. No big deal, what I expected. But for 2024, I want to break even. I want to at least not have a loss. I don't need to make a net profit, but I want to break even. And then for 2025, I would like to be starting to turn a profit. And then after that goal, I mean, that naturally leads into increased sales. So for 20, for my first let me see, I was in business for five months in 2022, and I think I grossed $4,500, something like that. For 2023, I was in business for the whole year, and I think I attended 10 or 11 markets over the course of the entire year. My online sales are pretty minimal because, you know, it takes time to work that up. And my sales for 2023 were $11,000. So now for 2024, you know, I just want the natural progression. Like considering the, the economic climate right now, I'm really, really happy with what my sales were like last year. You know, they, they were, you know, they still were an improvement over the year of over the five months before that. So it's all good. But I would like to increase my sales again. So, you know, I just like to gr grow the sales. And I think I'm on track for that. Because most of my sales are in in-person markets, I am, I'm doing a market. I did a market in February. I'm doing one in March. I'm, I didn't do anything in January. Didn't, I'm not doing anything in April. And then I'm doing at least one market a month from May onwards, sometimes two. 
And that is where I make most of my sales. So I, I will be on track for increasing my sales for 2024 as well. So far to date, my online sales have been higher in January and February than they were last year. I don't even think I had any online sales last year in January and February. So that was, that was, and that leads into the next goal. See, all my goals are interrelated. So for my next goal, I want to increase my online sales presence. So I really want to work on, I've been working on my SEO. I, I definitely, I post on TikTok regularly. I'm posting on YouTube regularly, um, Facebook, Instagram, and I'm really trying to be consistent, especially with YouTube. Now I haven't posted a video in two weeks. This week makes the third Friday that I haven't posted a video, but it'll be posted on Saturday. So I really think that being consistent is really going to, with YouTube, is really going to help me as well as providing, you know, value added content. So, and I guess that leads into another goal that I didn't specifically write down, but is growing my platform on YouTube. I posted a video of like a full um, soap making video on how to make soap from beginning to end, every step, lots of detail. And that video for me exploded. And I think for the month of January from like, I don't know, December 1st to January 1st, when was that video posted? Oh, no, over the course of four weeks anyway. I think over the course of 10 days, I gained over 100 new subscribers. And I mean, as of right now, I'm at 749 subscribers. I went from five from something like 580 or 90 subscribers to almost 700 subscribers over the course of a couple of weeks. Mostly I attribute to that video. So that made me think, wow, people want tutorials. People want to learn how to do things. So what I'm trying to do is add more value to the content that I'm putting out there. That is one of my goals to grow my YouTube platform. Cause I mean, everyone wants to get monetized and have a, you know, a big following. But what I really want is to just have a really good community on YouTube. And I want to bring in the right, the right viewers. So by looking at the videos that I'm making, I've been making lists. So I have lists, tons and tons of lists on my phone. And I have one that's just, you know, ideas for videos, you know, soap making 101, lotion making 101, um, magnesium lotion 101. Um, lots of things. I have my phone right in front of me. So, um, let's see, can I find my list video ideas? So some of the other things that I want to do is, you know, how do you soap maker three, how to make dish soap, uh, maybe a series on different soap ingredient properties. Some, I have uh, another note for 10 tips for easier soap making, um, how I come up with fragrance blends. And then I'll keep adding to that list as I, you know, as I think of ideas, but I really, I was really blown away by the, I got over a thousand views on that video video in less than a week, which again, for me, that was a lot. Like I was sometimes, you know, I would get 50 or 80 views in a week and that would be all right. Sometimes I'd get 200 and that was, a, that was great, but to be, but to get a thousand views on a video in, I don't know, seven to 10 days. And then the next video after that, what was that? That was maybe my peppermint soap video. And then I did my in bulk video and both of those videos got a lot more views than, you know, the last five videos before that. So like I said, I was really, oh, and the video before that video that got over a thousand views, that was a lip balm making video. And it wasn't even really a tutorial. Um, it was, it was a few tips and tricks. But like that video got a lot more views than the video before it and the, and the last few videos before that. So I think that's the video that I was like, huh, people really, really seem to, you know, tune in for this video that was kind of a tutorial, but not really. So maybe it's time for me to make a true tu tutorial video from beginning to end. And like I said, that's when I felt like, wow, I got over a hundred subscribers and over a thousand views on this video. This is amazing. So yeah, growing the YouTube platform, 
building a community on YouTube. That's definitely one of my goals. What else do I have on here? So I have do more markets. So that I started probably in September or October is when I started applying for my first 2024 markets. And there's a few places that I, that I look at, like there's specific ones in November and December that, you know, that I look, that I very eager to attend. Otherwise I've been doing mom's markets, which some people love them. Some people hate them. Um, I have had a fairly decent experience. So I signed up for a bunch more this, this year. And I signed up for one in February or March, which I didn't do last year. I've made sure to sign up for one before mother's day. Cause last year, my mother's day market was fabulous. And I've, you know, I've signed up for markets in, you know, June, July, and August. Now, last year I signed up and I did get accepted for Art in the Garden, which is a really, really, really big three-day event here. And people make, you know, tens of thousands of dollars at this market. Last year, as a soap maker, there weren't many soap makers. I did all right. But for the amount of effort and the, and the length of the days, I just, I couldn't, I just didn't sign up this year. I just didn't even try. I actually signed up for a mom's market that's happening that weekend. And I kind of, I won't say I did it on purpose, but I definitely knew what I was doing. And I figured that the art in the garden would be that weekend. And it is. So my husband was happy because as much as we both enjoyed the market last year, it was a lot of work and it was long days. And the money was honestly not even as good as, it certainly wasn't as good as a Christmas market that I did this past year. Or the year before that so yeah so i just i just i'm choosing not to do that market i would rather do except for christmas time i would rather just do one day markets and be done so yeah so so i'll be doing at least a market a month in september october november december i might try doing two markets a month we shall see um but yeah that's that's another goal what else do I have on my list? So another thing that I'm trying, and I did it for January, kind of just a little bit, is monthly product releases. I'm the kind of person that when I make something, I want to show everyone right away. I want to post the pictures. I want to post the video. I want to release it right away. I want to put it on the website. And I'm trying to do monthly releases. So in January, for January 1st, I released a bunch of, I restocked and released a bunch of new flavors for lip balms. And for February, I released three soaps. And for March, I'm also going to be releasing three soaps, three soaps. They're on my curing rack. And then I'm also going to do in March, some bunny soaps and bunny bath bombs. And in, in February, it wasn't technically a release because I didn't plan for it. And I didn't, um, you know, it, I didn't make a big thing of having a release date. But I also did my, I restocked my dragon eggs, my mermaid eggs. And then I made dragon soaps and mermaid soaps to go with them. So, so yeah, so that's something I'm trying this year. I have a planned release for every month. I don't know if it'll always take place on the first of the month because it's just going to depend on my schedule. But that is what I'm planning is to do a release and see how that goes. See if that generates any excitement or anticipation um, for my for my products and for my website. So we shall see. And I guess related but unrelated, something else that I'm plan that I'm doing or that I started doing last year this time, I had Three or four people all in a row very early in the year show a lot of excitement for purchasing my soaps wholesale. So I thought, this is amazing. And they basically cleared me at a soap. So I ended up um, scaling up a little bit, like not a ton, but I started making, you know, two and three loaves of soap at a time. And I just really, really stocked up. And the combination of that plus the markets in June, July, or May, June, July, and August at um, the mall parking lot, they weren't like exceptionally high sales. So 
I still have soap from a year ago sitting on my rack that I never sold. So, you know, that stuff's all on discount on my website. So one of the things that I'm doing this year is I'm not, I'm not making soap for the, with the anticipation of selling it wholesale. I am holding true to my wholesale model of if you want to buy wholesale, that's fabulous but there's going to be a four week lead time you need to pre-order and then I will make the soap for you and then you can pick it up or I will ship it or whatever. So I'm really keeping the batches of soap that I make quite small just for my retail customers because nobody wants to have soap sitting on the shelves for days, weeks, months, up to a year. That's not moving fast enough because you know, that's silly, right? And I really feel like that I did myself a disservice by anticipating faster wholesale growth and faster retail growth at markets than actually than was, you know, actually happening. So that is that is another goal. And that's that's my main goals. I mean, I wrote down what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I probably mentioned 10 different things. So, yeah, so those are my goals, you know increase my online presence, uh, work on my social media platforms, increase my online sales as well as my in-person sales and my in-person events, and really try and cut back on my spending. Because although it's a business expense, at the end of the day, it still eats into your bottom line, right? So, so yeah, that's, uh, that's where I am with my goals. And again, Please feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know what your 2024 goals are because I would love to hear it. Do you have a soap business or a different type of business? Do you have goals for this year? Do you have goals for your personal life? I would like to hear those as well. And I believe that's all I've got for you today. I was really, really, I don't want to say procrastinating. It's been a really, really exhausting year <laughs> and it's February 23rd. But I've just been extra tired and extra hurting from the fibromyalgia in the last few months, for sure. The last couple of weeks have just kind of sucked, to be honest. So much pain, and I haven't been sleeping, and yeah. So for two, and I was preparing for a market that was last weekend. So I just didn't get a video edited. I didn't get a voiceover done. I just didn't get it done. So this weekend I was like, okay, I was really tired again last night, but I had to work on my product line list for my wholesale customer who wanted to see an updated list of all the soaps that I'm going to have available this year. So I ended up working on that instead of a video last night. So here we are. It is Friday night and I am having a wild time drinking tea and doing a voiceover for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found something of value and I will see you again for the next video, hopefully next Friday. Thank you so much for tuning in.